Hey guys, it's me again. Long time no see. I haven't done videos in such a long time. And uh, I really wanted to get back on that horse again. So I thought, what better way to kick it off than with a festival look. Now I know the season is almost over, but I just really love these looks. So I thought, why not? And I'm kind of based, well, it's actually a replica of this. I got this in Primark, I got it for the gemstones, but then I looked at the face and I was like, ooh, I kind of like how they did the drawing of the makeup and everything. So that is what we're gonna go for. So I'm starting off with my Trusted Primer Potion by Urban Decay. With that, I'm just priming my eyelids and all the space up to it, all the way up to the brow. Recently, like, a few days ago I got the Huda Beauty palette really excited about it I swatched it on snapchat and I love it I love the colors I actually got it for the textured eyeshadows and first I thought because mm, I saw so many bad reviews I was like mm, I don't know if I want to get it but then I saw she was coming out with another palette and I was like you know what why not just give it a try and on the website where I bought it from, the reviews weren't that bad. And it was sold out in Sephora, so I was like, mm, it couldn't be that bad, right? Because I really, really love her liquid lipstick. I'm starting off with Sandalwood, which is this color. On to the eyelid, look at that pigmentation. I know if you can see it on camera, but because it's very close to my skin tone, but I love it. So I'm just blending it out with a blending brush and I'm putting a little bit of the eyeshadow on it and blending it out again. So it goes up a little bit higher. I'm also gonna take the warmer brown, which is Henna, this one. Taking that on my blending brush, and I'm just tapping that over the color I already applied just to make it a little bit more mm, red and a little bit darker then I'm gonna dip another brush into sandalwood and henna so the two colors I applied and go underneath the lash line then I'm taking a cold pencil this one is by Rimmel and I'm gonna Line the lower and upper waterline. I'm also gonna take that cold pencil and I'm gonna draw a little line. This is gonna make it easy to create that um, eyeliner flick. So I'm just gonna draw. Let me go a little bit closer. I'm just gonna draw a line from underneath so the lower lash line and going up. Don't put a lot of pressure on your pencil. As soft as possible. Then I'm gonna line my eyes with my trusty eyeliner. This is the Ultra Precision Eyeliner by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna highlight underneath the brows and I'm gonna use Bay, which is a really cute name, and then maybe a little bit of Moon Dust. But let's start off with Bay. Oh shoot. Too much. With some mineralized charged water by MAC. On my face I should have done this before I started it's gonna hydrate my skin a little bit more because I find that I do have some dry patches here and there oh next I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm mixing max face and body with NARS sheer glow now here's the new thing all these silly sponges I've seen online, I decided to get them. This one is by Primark and um, I don't like them for applying my makeup, but I do like them to blend the makeup out 
because that it does very well because usually I would do this with my fingers but no the silly sponge is so the silicone sponge is perfect for that and I blend it out or into the skin I would say and this way the beauty blender won't absorb a lot of the product because I find that beauty blenders normally do that all of them but it does work it into the skin then I'm moving on to concealer and for that I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear underneath my cheekbones that way the contour will be nice and sharp and then whatever is left I'm gonna work that a little bit all over the face next I'm taking a really small brush and the black color in the palette this is black truffle with a tiny amount of that on my brush And then I'm gonna go back into henna, which is a brick color. And I'm gonna blend that slightly over it. Next I'm applying a little bit of mascara, one coat, and this is the False Lash Telescopic by L'Oreal. And a little bit on the lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna mix two Kylie highlighters. One is Cotton Candy Cream, which is a little bit more on our cooler side, like compar to, comparable to Opal by Becca. And then this one, which is Salted Caramel, which is uh, very golden. I'm just gonna mix those two and apply it right into the inner corner. You know what? I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit. And I'm going back in for that extra shine. And then I'm taking a little tiny bit of moon dust. I'm putting a little bit of that underneath the eyebrow just so it catches the light. Next I'm gonna contour with Casino by NARS. Then before I apply blush I'm gonna highlight and I like to do this before so it all blends in. So again I'm gonna take Salted Caramel by Kylie and what's this one? Cotton Candy Cream. Um, whoopa. Gonna highlight the face. It is a very subtle highlight, and a lot of people don't like that, but I love that because on a day to day basis, you really don't go heavy in with the highlight. It looks ridiculous, but. On camera or a photo that looks great. Now, I don't want to highlight my zip and then a little bit on the nose and then on the cupid's bow. For blush, I'm just using a bronzer. This is Sun Power by MAC. Next I'm gonna set it all with my Fix Plus. So I'm just gonna apply my lashes and I'll be right back. So I already started with one eye. Now I'm gonna do the second eye. So they tend to fall off and uh, when they fall off, chances are big. They're not gonna stick to your face anymore. So just dip them in a little bit of lash glue and that will make them stay on all day.
and they're on it took a while to get on and then uh, I was out of memory so I just put them on and all is left is the lipstick so I kind of wanted to do Mary Jo K because it's a really nice red uh, but I sometimes feel like it's a little bit too light for me it's very comparable to uh, Ruby Woo by MAC so if you don't have this, try Ruby Woo. So anyway, I'm just gonna start with a lip liner and this one is Leo by Kylie and look what happened. Yup. Anyway, just gonna line the lips with that. that is the look I love it I love how festive this is and you could pair it with earrings I left them out because I kind of want the focus to be on the face and the embellishments on the face so yeah thank you so much for watching and until next time bye